Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my stem cell journey. In this video, I'm going to give a, another update on what my vision is doing after having a, a stem cell uh, injection done uh, about 16 months ago down in South Florida uh, in the United States, just in case you're watching this in another country. Um, but anyway, like I said, I've been doing all these updates, uh, reading the comments, uh, and you know, people want to, you know, still know what's going on and, and, and see what, what's next for me and everything. Um, pretty much, uh, the vision is pretty much the same as before. Like, no real changes from uh, having that, the injections done. Um, and keep in mind, if you're not familiar with my channel, you can look back at uh, past videos. But basically, I got uh, taking bone marrow uh, derived stem cells. Uh, from you know uh, my bone marrow and got them injected uh, into my eyes uh, in hopes of treating optic atrophy all right which is a um, somewhat rare disease I don't know it's, if it's that much rare anymore but um, basically it's the paling of the optic nerve so it's just very weird um, but anyway I got this procedure done to help uh, improve the vision right Twenty-one thousand six hundred dollars for this procedure, and no, it did not uh, improve anything. And I was told, you know, after the first three months, then the six months, then the nine months, by the people in South Florida that, oh yeah, give it more time, give it more time, give it more time. Oh, we have patients, and sometimes it takes six months, sometimes it takes nine months, sometimes it takes twelve months. Eh. Now, keeping it real. Um, the place where I got it done, South Florida, uh, the, they've kind of been under a lot of, um, which I haven't checked with them recently, but a few months back, they were under the, under the, the gun a little bit. Like they were getting a lot of complaints and, you know, uh, <clears throat> a lot of unsatisfied, uh, customers or patients, so to speak. And, but far as I know, they're still doing this procedure, you know, down there. So. People always ask me, you think I should do it? You think it da My opinion, 16 months after the fact, would I do it again, knowing what I know now? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I was complaining before about uh, after having this done, which I thought was a lot of stem cells, uh, you know, after, because they'll tell you after you get the procedure done, oh, you'll see stem cells floating, blah, 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 blah. They got to dissipate over time. Um, but come to find out, I found out maybe like, 10 months after the procedure that there are floaters that I've been seeing in both of my eyes. Um, and, you know, I, I've been seeing them a lot. Now, in my opinion, believe it or not, this month, like the last month, it's the very beginning of November right now. In the month of October, it just seems like the floaters are still there. Like, they're there right now, but it wasn't as bad for some reason. And maybe I'm getting used to them. Which would be, I guess it'd be good if I do. Or maybe they just, the floaters are dissipating slightly. All right. But keep in mind, getting. Uh, all right, I'm back. Uh, I had to take that phone call. That was my sister from Phoenix, Arizona. But anyway, as I was saying about the stem cells, I was saying, um, keep in mind that even though I'm seeing these, uh, I've been seeing a lot of stem cells, and they've been, seen like the last month, not as bad understand that I didn't have floaters before the procedure so I don't care what nobody say the floaters came from you know having this procedure done that doesn't happen to everybody uh, that I've known that to get this done no uh, has that happened to several people yeah so that's something to you know really think about um, which still disappointing the fact that uh, I've got you know something that was supposed to help you know the vision actually just added another problem to it which is kind of annoying but you know it is what it is um i talked about before uh, uh a guy i was talking to on facebook uh, he was trying to supplement called ida benone i don't know how to say it right ida benone ida benon something like that i d b e uh wait ida benone i d b e n o n e i believe um, supplement is supposed to help with the optic nerve, uh, but it's supposed to help slow down, um, like deterioration of the optic nerve. And in some cases, uh, it actually benefited 
uh, the optic nerve. I'm waiting to hear back from him. I haven't heard from him uh, maybe in like over a month or so. So I know he was going to start taking this supplement and I want to report back about it, uh, which I will do. Uh, another thing is gene therapy, which I'm kind of looking into that. It's it's not really getting it done, but I know the research is, is getting more and more popular uh, using gene therapy to help several different vision problems. Um, I'm not going to speak too much on that right now because I, I don't know too much about it, but I will be looking into it, seeing where the research is at, where it's going, how close is it uh, to being something where humans can try it out, uh, you know, where is it at? Because in the future, I think I would like to hopefully try something like that. Um, but ultimately, like, still just trying to stay positive with the situation. And this experience has taught me a lot, uh, shown me a lot. Um, but for all you people watching it, thinking about getting this procedure done, uh, the stem cell procedure done. Like I said in several videos, it didn't really help me out. Um, but I do believe there's things out there that can help out. I just haven't found the right thing yet. And where I went, I do feel like they're giving kind of stem cell treatments a bad name right now because the way that South Florida kind of handled uh, my case and they don't really give you too much support after you go there and you spend all this money, they're kind of like, eh, well, whatever. Uh, another thing that I learned too, if you're going to get this done, especially any sort of injections, you should get it done one eye at a time. You should not, from what I've been seeing, you should not get both eyes done for any procedure at the same time, especially if the dog in the background snoring. But anyway, you shouldn't get it done at the same, you know, both eyes done, which is, if I would have known that before I went to Florida, I definitely would have questioned that. You know, so you're hearing it from me right now. So if you think about going there, you should question, like, why are you doing both eyes? Shouldn't you do maybe my worst eye? You know, treat that eye first, see how it works out. That's something that if I would have seen before, I definitely would have questioned it and probably, you know, wouldn't have went through with it. But keep in mind, I'm just one person, so you could do, you know, your own research. But I'm giving you the real, the real experience, you know, of what's going on. Uh and once again, like I say in other videos, you guys stay positive uh, because I know there's people obviously with better vision than me and there's people with worse vision than me. And there's people with worse vision than me that's more optimistic than I am, you know, and there's people with better vision than I got and they're just like depressed. The bottom line is you got to keep living. You got to keep going um, forward and you got to realize that especially now we're in a time where there's stuff coming every day. Literally next week, it might be something out that we can all try to help your condition and that just might be a lifesaver. Or there's uh, maybe a piece of equipment, technology or something that can help your vision uh, situation. So if you're watching this video, you gotta stay positive or if you know somebody dealing with uh, the vision issue or whatever, let them know that something is right around the corner. You got to stay positive. I know it's hard, you know, trust me, you know what I mean, trust me, I know it's hard, but you got to keep doing what you're doing, all right, uh, one more thing, I always talk about my you caring page, you know, I talk about it because I still got this big bill, uh, still owe around $16,000 for this procedure, that didn't do anything, but whatever, um, but I did want to say thanks to, uh, someone who donated, uh, uh, about a week ago. I can't say the last name because I can't pronounce it, but the first name was Navid. Uh, really appreciate uh, the donation. Hopefully you don't mind me saying your name, but really, really appreciate it. I wrote you a message. Hopefully you got it. Hopefully you're watching this video, but thank you again. Uh, really, really helped out a lot. Uh, and if anybody else want to donate, link in the description to my you caring page. Uh, like I said, when this bill paid off, I will be doing a, a celebration video because this was an a, a experience. But anyway, thanks again, David. Appreciate it. And I'm going to keep these videos coming. And don't forget, stay positive, And something's coming real soon. Peace.